our planets and our solar system. Hello everyone, it's me Pluto. Today I'm going to show you all the planets. Hello Pluto, are you a planet? Well, that's quite a story. Let's first visit the solar system, shall we? These planets are divided into two groups. The first one is rocky or terrestrial planets. These are Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. These planets are not just neighbors, but also compact balls of rocks and metals. They have few or no moons. The next group is of giant or Jovian planets. These are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. They are a bit far from the Sun and they have many moons. They have no solid surfaces and are larger than the terrestrial planets. These Jovian planets are further divided into two more groups. The first one is gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn. Jupiter and Saturn are the gas giants of the solar system. These are mainly composed of hydrogen and helium. They are also called the field stars because they contain the same basic elements as a star. Second group is of ice giants which has Uranus and Neptune. With the larger distances from the Sun, Uranus and Neptune are the colder planets. These planets are mainly composed of elements such as oxygen, carbon, nitrogen, and sulfur. So these chemicals might be frozen or trapped in crystals of ice. Now let's explore the planets one by one. Meet Mercury, the smallest planet. It is the closest planet to the Sun. Mercury has no natural satellites. Mercury takes 88 Earth days to have a year. But its entire day takes Earth 176 days to clear. Hey Pluto, I have a question. How do the planets move? Well, planets move in two ways. First on its own axis like a dancer on a pirouette. And second around the sun on a path called the orbit. Now the next planet is Venus. It is close to the Earth and has no natural satellite. It is the hottest planet with a surface temperature over 400 degrees centigrade. Planet number 3 is our own planet, the Earth, the one we call our home. 70% of its surface is water. It is the only planet where life can exist and Earth has one moon. Mars, the fourth planet in our solar system. It is smaller than Earth and Venus. Its red color comes from iron oxide in its soil. It has two tiny moons, Deimos and Phobos. We are off to the bigger planets. Here we go! But between the planets are the rocky objects floating like stars, asteroids, meteorites and comets. This is called asteroid belt. Meet Jupiter, one of the giant planets. Hydrogen and helium make up its atmosphere. A day is just 10 hours here, but it completes the orbit around the sun in about 12 Earth years. It has 95 moons. Saturn, the sixth and the second largest planet in the solar system. It is 95 times bigger than Earth. It has seven bright rings of ice, rocks, and dust that are wispy and it has 146 moons. Jupiter and Saturn are both visible from Earth's sky. Nice to meet you both. Hey, is it getting very cold? Ah, uh, yes, because we are near to the ice giant. Uranus, one of the two ice giants. Its blue-green color is because of sunlight and methane. Uranus has 27 moons and 13 rings. Hey! Is Uranus okay? Why it is moving sideways? Possibly the result of a collision with an Earth-sized object long ago. We have come so far, Pluto. Are we approaching another star? Yes, and here is our final planet. Finally, eighth and the most distant planet in our solar system, Neptune. This Einstein planet is with dark, cold, and whipped by supersonic winds, and it is the third largest planet in our solar system. 
Neptune has 14 known moons. It is the coldest planet with temperature approaching minus 218 degrees centigrade. Thanks for watching our video. Like, subscribe and share.